Dr. Owen O'Shea of the Shark Research and Conservation Program here at the Cape Luther Institute in the Bahamas. We are a multidisciplined organisation that promotes outreach, education and sustainability. The Shark Research and Conservation Programme has existed for almost a decade where we focus on conservation-driven approaches to shark science. We have projects in every major ecosystem in the Bahamas, including coral reefs, the deep ocean and coastal habitats. One of the ongoing research projects that the SHARP program has been focusing on over the last few years is the interactions between physiology and behaviour of sharks during long line capture events. We set experimental long lines in the coastal nearshore environments with hook gangens with HD cameras, accelerometers and hook timers attached to them to assess and couple the interactions between behaviour and stress physiology. Throughout the course of this study, we safely captured, sampled and released 146 sharks with just one exception. In 2012, we caught a Caribbean reef shark on one of our experimental gangens, which attracted the attention of a bull shark, which circled the animal for about 90 minutes before attacking and killing the, uh, the hooked Caribbean reef shark. This led to a 40 minute um, period where a tiger shark, a great hammerhead shark and another Caribbean reef shark along with the bull shark competed for access to the hooked Caribbean reef shark. The loss of target species in commercial fisheries to predators is uh, it's quite common. Uh, however, to actually witness such an event is incredibly rare. The unfortunate loss of this Caribbean reef shark during this event allowed us to take a previously unseen glimpse into the behaviour of four competing species of shark. So this is here, this is where we see a behavioural challenge made by the bull shark to the hammerhead. Uh, you can see the hammerhead coming in here, it nudges the resource very uh, slowly but then sort of rapidly swims away and the bull shark comes into focus just here. This is very interesting behaviour by the tiger shark. This is the mouthing behaviour where there was no feeding that was going on. The shark is simply controlling the resource and preventing the other species from gaining access. In this video here we see one of the behavioural challenges made by the tiger shark to the bull shark. The bull comes up here, uh, attempts to feed on the resource and you can see the tiger just comes up and mouths the bull shark on the right hand side gill. Uh, the bull swims away and the tiger shark has left access to this resource. We think that it's likely that these behaviours suggest that the notion of size isn't always an important consideration um, when looking at access to a, a food resource in the wild. And the reason for this is the tiger shark was the third largest animal competing for this resource, yet seemingly dominated every interaction it was involved in most of what we know about how wild animals compete for common resources has been derived from either theoretical models or the study of primates. So this is one of the first direct observations of wild sharks seemingly competing for a common food resource in the wild. The, the scientific rigour of this can be improved um, through replication, however, for obvious ethical considerations it's very difficult to replicate and for now we have to be content at this small glimpse of this behaviour.